Okay folks, this turtle began her breeding life eight years ago. Uh, this is her second ever breeding season and tonight she's laying her fourth clutch for this year, or this summer. I like the nesters as well. Yeah. yeah. If you could um, go sideways and look at them. Yeah. So even yeah, like can you turn? Oh, I don't need you to be able to focus on them.
I think it's something everyone should have on their bucket list. Um, it's it's the, the turtle is such an ancient ancient creature, and we're just so privileged to have them on our coast. It's just, and you see the whole life cycle here. You can come and see the little hatchlings making their way to the to the beach, and then come back on another night and see the mature uh, turtles laying. So it's a full life cycle here at Monrepo, and I think it should be on everyone's bucket list. So the hatchlings, once they leave our shores, they can, they orientate with the magnetic fields of the earth as they enter the water. They ride this incredibly huge uh, current around the Pacific Ocean, uh, which goes along the shores of South America, and then they enter back into our waters and, and find their feeding ground. When they reach about 30 years of age, that connection with the magnetic fields brings them back to this area to lay their eggs as adults. We knew that they'd come back, even though last season was devastating to the clutches of eggs. Um, we're really positive about them coming back to nest. We, we never know from year to year what their numbers will be. Uh, at the moment it's a bit early to tell, but it seems on par with the average numbers we've been getting in the last few years. So um, we're really excited to, to be here and, and seeing the whole process continue as it always does and has done for thousands of years. This turtle experience was the most unique thing I have ever done in my life. I love wildlife and nature, and turtle is something really exotic for me, coming from France. So I think I'm the luckiest girl in the world to have seen that and yeah, to experience this. Je, je vais dire en fait au monde entier que l'expérience sur les tortues, c'était vraiment le moment le plus unique que j'ai vécu ici en Australie et même dans ma vie entière. J'adore les animaux, quels qu'ils soient, et encore plus les bébés tortues. Donc c'est un moment unique qu'il faut absolument vivre. Monrepo and the immediately adjacent little beaches on the Wangara coast uh, currently support approximately 50% of all the loggerhead nesting for Eastern Australia. The mainland coast population here has recovered far better than the other nesting populations like Wreck Island and Tryon and so on. And so this is now supporting the biggest concentration of loggerheads for the whole of the South Pacific. You know, the 1950 decision to close down the commercial harvesting of turtles for soup, that's why we've got a, a, a green turtle population that is one of the biggest in the world, nesting on our islands right now offshore. Um, the, the reason our loggerhead population is on the, the, the increase on the nesting beaches is because of the pressure of the Queensland Government to put in the, the um, turtle exclusion devices, the extensive protection of turtles in the national park system. You know, this is all um, way ahead of, of what almost all other countries are doing um, on a sort of a grand scale for looking after sea turtles.